Okay, this sermon is entitled, Stupid People Will Believe Anything. Stupid people will believe anything. Like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 119 reads, Blessed are the undefiled in the way, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies, and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. Now the reason why I'm doing this sermon is because this has a lot to do with why so many people believe a false gospel. And I'm going to touch on that at the end of the sermon, but for now I'd like to cover the subject of credulity. Now what exactly is credulity? Well, it's when a person is very easily or readily convinced that something is true. In other words, they'll believe anything without the benefit of analysis or pragmatic or logical assessment. And this is actually quite sad. You have what's known as conspiracy hunters out there who are constantly looking for some type of conspiracy or a reason to embellish or exaggerate reality. There are people out there that will call anybody a Freemason, a witch or a warlock, or a government agent, and I'm talking about people like Paul Washer. They'll claim that he's not just a false prophet with a false gospel, he's also some secret spy working for some satanic secret society, and this is all based on hearsay. And see, the thing about this type of scuttlebutt is that nobody knows if it's true, and it doesn't even really matter. Because the bottom line when it comes to people like Paul Washer and these other false prophets is that they're deceiving people with a false gospel and they need to be exposed for being a false prophet. And that alone is enough of a reason to expose them. So now back to my thesis, I've noticed that over the years people will believe just about anything. An example of this would be the rumor that Paul from the Wonder Years, whose name in real life is Josh Saviano was in fact Marilyn Manson or Brian Warner. I mean, this kind of stupidity is the stuff that people will believe just because they want to believe it. So now on a more serious note, I'd like to go over a list of various things that people believe out of sheer stupidity. Number one, the flat earth theory. The simple fact that anyone believes this at all unveils just how stupid people are. And I may do another sermon on this subject, so when it comes to this point, I'm not going to say anything more. I've reached my satisdiction. Number two, there's another theory out there known as the reptilian conspiracy theory. And this is a sci-fi fomented concept about some secret race of reptiles. And there are several names for these creatures. Number one, they're known as reptoids or anthropomorphic reptiles or reptilian humanoids, and finally, lizard people. And these reptiles supposedly, using brainwashing and shape-shifting powers, have embodied human beings. And the claim is that there are many celebrities out there who are really lizard people. And see, this is all based on the writings of David Icke, who was a lunatic, and this is nothing but science fiction. And frankly, I believe these people just need to lay off the Mortal Kombat. Because in Mortal Kombat, you have Reptile who can morph from a human being to a lizard. Number three, you have what's known as the Bloody Mary apparition. Now this was something that was popular when most people were in like the third or fourth grade. They were told that if you go into the bathroom and turn off the lights and then chant Bloody Mary multiple times, this is supposed to conjure up Queen Mary, a.k.a. Bloody Mary of England, And I've also heard that you'll see blood drops on the mirror. And see, this type of practice is nothing new. It's known as catoptromancy. Catoptric simply means mirror-like. A catoptrical reflection simply means an image-bearing reflection. And see, when it comes to this kind of stupidity, I've heard people claim that it didn't work, they never saw Bloody Mary, and then the whole narrative changes. People will then tell you that you had to use candles or you have to do it after midnight, or you have to spin in clockwise circles while you're thrice chanting Bloody Mary. And see, this type of phenomenon is just known as the Troxler effect. That's a partial hallucination. 
resultant from mere staring in pervasive darkness. Moving on to the next stupid belief, and that would be biological evolution. Relative to biological evolution would be a concept known as abiogenesis, and this is the idea that something can come from nothing, and complex life can emerge from random chance. And even Darwin himself knew that this was all stupid, because in Darwinian evolution, there's the postulation that natural selection, given enough time, can create new life forms. And see, the truth is, is that all natural selection can do is conserve and change the already existing characteristics of previous life forms. It cannot improve or create new ones. And that is self-same with a mutation. A mutation can ruin a life form, but not improve one through reconfiguration. And another reason why biological evolution is so stupid is because when it comes to fossil evidence, there is a non-existence of missing fossil links between evolved creatures. There's no transitional evidence that apes evolved into humans and reptiles into birds. So now the final thing on my list, or the fifth stupid thing that people believe, is a false gospel. And the reason why this is so stupid is because when it comes to the Bible, the Bible clearly, precisely, and specifically tells us that we're not saved by works. It says in Galatians chapter 2, For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. And yet the crux of every false gospel is salvation by works. And I don't care if it's faith plus works, or if it's salvific loss, or if it's Roy's, a.k.a. repent of your sins, or Potts, the perseverance of the saints. The perseverance of the saints. It doesn't matter what it is, it's all a bunch of stupidity. And yet you have people out there who will swallow this stuff up without regret. And I believe the main reason why they do this is because they're absolutely stupid. Now turn over to Proverbs chapter 14. It reads in verse 12, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. See, when it comes to stupid beliefs, a lot of times people will fall for them because they seem correct. For instance, evolution. It seems correct to the natural man. And a false gospel seems correct to the unsaved because of their pride and their flesh. However, according to scripture, that doesn't matter. What does matter is what the Bible says. And when it comes to salvation, we are saved by grace, no matter how crazy it sounds. And it does seem crazy to the unsaved. They can't fathom, cognize, comprehend, assimilate, or grasp how a man can be saved by grace. And see, being saved by grace through faith alone in Christ alone can't be any crazier than anything else I've described in this sermon. So like it or lump it, people need to believe the truth and stop being so gullible and so credulous and so naive as to just believe anything they hear irrespective of how stupid it is. That's all I have. My encouragement for people is that they would not be so stupid, not believe everything they hear, not agree with the idea that we've been here for billions of years and the earth is flat and that Justin Bieber is really a reptile and you can conjure up Bloody Mary through a mirror and that if you're truly saved, you'll have the good works. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting people to listen, you can't just tap them on the shoulder anymore. You have to hit them with a sledgehammer. It's all a bunch of stupidity that needs to be repudiated. And we need to replace it with the truth and the truth alone. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen.